everyone welcome back to my channel i am jasmine if you haven't already joined the handcrafter from home family i am so happy that you are here to join us while we do another paint technique and getting enamel look three different ways i'm using dollar tree galvanized buckets i'm also going to use a galvanized tray i'll show you a quick snippet of what i showed over on instagram and facebook on how i prep these pieces it's going to be super easy so much fun so please join me as i show you these techniques because that's one of my favorite things to do and it's great for vintage rustic farmhouse water and if you can fit it in there mixed with other styles it's such a great way to decorate and especially for spring because we're not doing the white and black typical enamel that you see we're doing spring colors so let's not waste any more time and hop right on in to these new paint techniques all right if you are already on instagram or facebook go join handcrafted from home with us over there i show little snippets and videos and things like this but all you're gonna do is grab a scrubber this one's from grove some 91 percent alcohol the higher the alcohol content the better and just scrub that right off and then you have plain buckets or pots that you can use and today we're using it to make enamel wear Alright, so after I cleaned it, I laid all of these out outside and I got some spray paint, just a matte spray paint. I use black because usually that is what's underneath the enamel. It's usually on steel or metal and just give these a light even coat. I did not do two coats on these at all. Alright, so I've got all this spray painted and I wanted a really light coverage if some of that comes back through that's okay but we need a black base for the most part you can use any brand but i find rustoleum is best for me first things first i'm just wrapping up the handles with some cling wrap and then i'm going to start by wetting my brush and i will take this apothecary from diy which is an amazing amazing color one of my favorites and especially for spring and i'm going to line the edges first we'll paint the edges and then I will move on to the flat surface or the main base part of the tray. This way, if I get too much paint buildup in the corners or creases, I'm able to smooth it out. Here I am watering down the paint. DLI paint is really thick and it still gives you so much pigment even after watering it down. So I just decided to do that along the edges to get a smoother finish with less brush strokes. All right, I am have a mix of, it's about one third white swan and two thirds apothecary. And I actually used, cause I ran out of white swan, a little bit of this gloss acrylic white paint from Apple Barrel. So that's what I'm saying. You can mix up your paints, you can combine them. Now, DIY paint is activated with water, which is gonna make wet distressing really easy. But I'm actually gonna paint both buckets this color, and um, I don't think that that little bit of acrylic paint will affect the distress too much. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did on the last tray, and then we'll get to the actual part of making it look more enamel. Here is the first coat. You're gonna see it is a little streaky. That's gonna happen with pretty much any paint brand that you have, even chalk paint. Plus we're on a slicker surface and what I'll do is I'll actually go through and wipe all this back or paint the bottom black. I'm not gonna paint the bottom green. And this is a lot brighter. Then you have the more muted apothecary that's been whitened or uh, toned down. So they're still pretty close, can still go together. Um, I would just break them up with maybe some white or wood in between them because they will clash a little bit if you don't. Now, I started using this in between here on the edges and it was awful. This is like plat, straight plastic. I did go back to my better brush. If you can, try to invest in a couple of nice paint brushes. It does make a difference. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Just use what you have and you might have to do a couple more coats and some sanding, but it'll be fine. Another thing, I watered this down quite a bit and the awesome thing about DIY is it's still really pigmented. It's five times more pigmented than the other brands, chalk brands out there, even though this is a clay-based paint. So yeah, I just wanted to let you all know that. And now 
we are going to do the second coat really quick and then I'll bring you back and we'll start the actual part of making it look more enamel. Here comes the really fun part. I took a 220 grit heavily used piece of sandpaper and just smoothed out everything without getting completely through the paint. And the first technique is wet distress. Many of you have seen me do this before. I'm just bringing back the black spray paint that's underneath to give it that aged enamel look. Make sure you're going in both directions, horizontal and vertical, because it gives it more of an authentic look. And then I just wiped it all the way around. And this is a lightly distressed enamel bucket. So you saw how quick and easy that was, even sped up. And the next one is we're going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to use a little black dress from DIY and I'm going to line the edges. Now this is if you already didn't have a base coat or spray paint and you just had one color paint in the black, then you could use less paint this way and just rim around the edges because that is where your enamel is going to wear off the most. And then I'm also going to go down along the sides of the handles add some wear and tear to that as well you have to be careful not to make it look like a cow a cow print or an animal print and that can be hard sometimes give it some awkward shapes and that is what you are going to come out with I love the wet distress look but here you will see the painted look as well and it came out great but you'll see me kind of modify this just a little bit here in a few minutes so if you're new to my channel, you probably haven't seen me use these IOD stamps. You can see some of my other videos or lives for a more in-depth look on how to use them. But this is an amazing way to get an aged effect. This is the Distress Stamp and I'm going through all over the base of this piece and giving it a real chippy, distressed look. And I love it, love it, love it so much. And I'm sorry, this is the chippy, not the distressed. And then I'm also going to use the wet distress method and just go around the edges. And I also decided to go around the raised areas on the sides and on the inside of the piece. It just looks so vintage and rustic farmhouse, you know, my vibe entirely. And I love how this is turning out. But I got to modify the inside just a little bit like I was talking about a few minutes ago. I'm going to take a wet rag or paper towel and just dab it and have more of those spots be sparse and bring the apothecary back through and I think that makes it look less like a cow print in my opinion. <laughs> Last but not least, I am using Big Top by DIY. It's a clear sealer, water-based sealer that is great, and it'll give it that nice sheen that we need for enamel. All right, here was our inspiration for it all. And we started off with just some tin buckets from the Dollar Tree and some spray paint and another tray. And we have created such a beautiful enamel look. And we did it in a green spring color that brings so much life and light to your area in your home and i am so excited about it and it goes great with this flower market sign that i made on a live in my handcrafter from home creative group that i would love for you to join over on facebook where you can show your creations also please if you ever try anything that i've shown you make sure you tag me on handcrafter from home on facebook and instagram it's such a fun way for us to see how we each take on a different project and you all are amazing I'm so grateful for each and every one of you we're continuing to build a community our motto is community over competition we create uplift and inspire remember you are amazing great things are coming your way everything you want already exists so we can make the life that we love and that we have always dreamed of I love you guys make sure that you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notifications set to all and we have so many fun things coming so I'll see you next time bye